All right, what's going on, guys? So the top 10 things that need to be changed right now in GTA Online in 2023 or in the future, whenever it is, I don't care, man. So look, do me a favor, hit that like button. I'd appreciate it. And let me know what you guys think in the comments about this, all right? So number one, man, EWO needs to be brought back right now. EWO, a.k.a. Easy Way Out. Uh, if you're a noob, obviously, you're not going to understand why I'm saying this. But for all the tryers, man, you guys obviously should know this. Uh, and this is the top reason why I'm griefing in 2023. Number two, man, timers need to be taken out now. They need to be put back the way they used to be. Actually, I can't remember. Was there any timers at all before? It used to just be unlimited oppressor call-ins, so on, so on. Then you had all these noobs start crying and petitioning on Rockstar's feedback site. Way like, look, I can't defend myself against an oppressor. I gotta, I gotta go to Rockstar's site and report it because I'm a virgin. Like, come on, man. That's sad, to be honest. Like, it ain't gonna stop me from griefing, you know what I mean? These two right here, EWO, unless it's brought back and all these timers are taken out, you guys will continue to get griefed over and over and get sent the 10L's message. You know what I'm saying? No crates, no cargo, no vehicle cargo, no nightclub goods, no nothing. No nothing. Until EWO's brought back and all timers are taken out, no fun, no money, no shoes, no chains, no watches, no nothing. All right? All right. Number three, they need to fix God mode completely. Why do we have all these partial fixes? Why do we have like six different methods on the taxi god mode glitch? Why is the agency god mode glitch still working? Why is the casino one still working? You know what I mean? Like, it's just absolutely insane. I don't understand why this, why Rockstar, this big developer that can make a game like GTA 5, can't do permanent fixes. Maybe you guys can let me know, because I don't know. Number four, man, number four, another problem. Fix permanent off the radar. Why is this still working? They've already fixed it like, two, what, three or four times? Maybe more than that? Like, I just don't understand. Another thing, it's like partial fix, and then something else comes out or something else happens, and bam, it's working again. You know what I mean? Like, just absolutely crazy. Number five, man, number five, they need to fix the sticky bomb and the RC Bandito glitch. Why is this still working? Why is it working to begin with? How does somebody find a glitch like that? Like, that's just absolutely insane, the fact that you can toss a sticky bomb and at long range at somebody and detonate it and use it unlimitedly and keep doing it like bro originally it's supposed to detonate and that's it you can hear the rc car pulling up on you it doesn't take that long to detonate and you get the kill or you don't get the kill but now nah, you toss the sticky bombs out of it man at long range you don't have to be right next to them it can be a long toss and they get the kill and there's really no way you can get the kill back unless you take them out the rc car and then take them out well, they're probably going to teleport or or quit or something if you do that. You know what I mean? That's just, I don't know. It's just crazy to me. So, number six. Number six. Fix sticky bombs fall into the map. Why is this still happening? Literally been going on six plus years. Like, bro, it's just insane. Like, these little problems, these may not seem like big problems to you guys, but year-long problems, okay? We haven't even gotten to the next GTA title yet that everybody's wanting so bad. But yet Rockstar has yet to fix all these problems, right? Besides the EWO and the timer, that's not necessarily a problem. That's more of a want. But all these problems that exist, man, just imagine how bad the next one's going to be with probably 10 times more gameplay, content, map size, whatever. I mean, who knows? Uh, and they still haven't fixed it, you know? Like, I just don't understand that. Um, but yeah, sticky bombs, man. I mean, that's just one example out of many examples. Number seven, they need to make better DLC updates. I understand they're free, and I appreciate it. Rockstar has never made us pay for a DLC update, but they've made us pay by suffering. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, man, I just don't understand. I just don't understand. A lot of these DLC updates have not made sense. It looks seems like rushed content. Um, most of it's grinder updates. Like, I don't know about you guys, but that's terrible to me. Obviously, the grinders love it, um, but I know a lot, I've seen a lot of videos pop up on my feed saying that they don't like the updates, or some of them, you know, that's not speaking for every grinder and noob, but that's all the updates have been, you know what I mean, and, uh, you know, if you're a tryhard, obviously, you don't like it, I mean, anti-griefers probably like it, you know, some of the, you know, level 1, 5, 10 players probably love it, whatever, you know, but they need to just, they need to start making better DLC updates, that makes sense because we still got quite a few before the next one drops out you know what i mean uh but yeah so number eight number eight bad sport they need to take out bad sport get rid of bad sport lobbies for good 
there's literally like two lobbies. When you go into those lobbies, or like maybe two, maybe two and a half. Uh, and that just depends on when you're on. Um, you know, everybody hides in their apartments. I went in there to get clips not too long ago for a video. It took me like four or five hours to get all the clips, break them down, uh, do the thumbnail, all that. Like four or five hours just to get one video. And that was like five or six minutes or something like that. Like half the lobby hiding in their apartments, hiding in a glitch, going under the map, going permanent off the radar, going ghost. You know what I mean? Like... And then that was pretty much it. Like, and you're if you get up on somebody in there, you're basically in GTA prison. So you might as well expect them to get that kill back. You know what I mean? They just need to completely do away with bad sport. But I have a feeling that they won't. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, with all these other problems lingering, they probably will never get rid of that. And it'll probably even be in the next one too. So number nine, number nine, they need to find noobs a hundred dollars a month. They need to find noobs a hundred dollars a month until Ewo is brought back. And all the timers are taken out. $100. And maybe even start deleting a little bit of inventory here and there. Money, clothes, outfits, whatever you want to call it. Um, anything. Cars. And make them pay, man. To realize the mistake that was made. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. But hey, finally, last but not least. Number 10. Better money options. Better money options. And this last one here, I know everybody in the community can agree with this. The modded accounts that are really popular between the whole community, uh, obviously the grinders aren't getting it because they're grinding heist and other stuff. You know what I mean? But modded accounts wouldn't even be needed if Rockstar had a good money option through the shark cards or through the package options. You know what I mean? Like who actually wants to pay $80, $90 for $8 million when you can get a duped account for like $50 that's got $7 billion on it? You know what I mean? Plus fast run plus modded outfits, plus cars, or whatever else. Just insane. Like, I, I don't know why Rockstar hasn't noticed this. You know what I mean? Like, they came out with GTA Plus, and you pay $6, and they're still only giving you 500000 a month. Like, bro, your TV, having your TV on for one day costs $500,000. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, when you buy some P's and Q's and E. Cola, man, that costs $500,000. Nah. But, um... It's just insane to me, man. I honestly don't understand it. Maybe you guys can help me understand it, because I don't. But, um, yeah, that's the top ten things, man, that come to mind straight off. Like I said, if you guys have something you want to throw in there, man, feel free, because this is definitely a topic more people need to be talking about. Obviously, you know, these are more of my opinions and a lot of people, but this is all facts, man. Like, these are things that need to be fixed, and there's a whole lot of other things, too that I could be going over, but these are the main ones that I feel like need to be addressed, but probably won't ever be addressed, you know what I mean, uh, and like I said, it will linger, it will linger to the next GTA if some of these things aren't fixed, and you guys watch, man, a lot of people like say, ATA, you don't know what he's talking about, nah, man, that that's straight, that's not even an opinion, some of that stuff, if it does not get fixed, it will be bad, I promise, and it'll be a broken game at the beginning of the game, and then you're going to have another 10 or maybe 15 year stretch of the next gta title so we'll leave it at that man make sure you guys hit that like button let me know what you think again if you're new hit that sub button turn on post notifications man so you don't miss any content and if you guys have any direct questions for me hit me up on instagram ata underscore the best and you guys have a good one peace